Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using ICC profiles on a Mac using a Ricoh printer. So before this video I assume that you have already installed the printer onto your computer and we just need to double check that we're using the correct driver for this otherwise you might not have all of the options available to you. So we'll go into System Preferences, Printers and Scanners and locate our printer which is the example Rico today. So here where it says kind it should say your printer model number and then maybe a version number. If it doesn't say that, if it says air print instead then you are using the default driver from Apple as opposed to the full printer driver and you won't have all of the options available so if this says air print you do need to remove the printer and then add it again using the correct driver. So once we've double checked that this is all correct we can go ahead with installing the profile. Now with your printer you will have received a CD which has all of the profiles on but if you don't have a disk drive on your computer then we've uploaded those online as well onto our Google Drive. There's a link to this with the printer as well if you can't find the link drop us an email and we'll let you know where it is. Now we go into generic profiles. All the folders here are the same as you'll find on the CD as well. And we'll use City Ink Express Paper today and the Rico SG3110. And download that. And now we can move on to the next step. We'll just drop that onto the desktop so we can get at it easily on the screen. Now, next we need to move the profile into a specific folder on your computer. Macs will only look in one specific folder when they're trying to find ICC profiles, so it's no good having it on the desktop there. So we'll click Go and Computer. And the location of this folder is in Macintosh, Library, Color Sync, Profiles. And we'll drop that in. It may come up saying that you need to authenticate and type in your password, which we shall do. There we go, and now the computer will be able to find that profile when we need it to. And the next thing to do is to open any program from which you can print. In this case I'll use Notes because it's easy, and click File, Print. Now we'll select our printer from this top drop down box and we'll sort out all of the settings now. If you can't see the full window, if it looks like this instead, you need to click Show Details here at the bottom. And we'll go into Color Matching first of all, Color Sync, and we'll select our profile from the drop down box here. If you can't see the profile here, then you need to click on other profiles and this box will pop up with the full list of all the profiles installed on your computer and it's this Mac Rico SG3110DN using City Ink Express sublimation paper now after we've selected the correct profile we can go into setup and this is where we select our print quality now for Rico printers we found the best results using glossy paper and super high quality. If you choose a lower quality or a different paper type sometimes it's just not up to scratch in terms of the quality of the image so we do recommend using glossy paper super high quality settings there. And finally because we're doing sublimation printing today under layout we have this flip horizontally which will print in mirror image mode which just means that all of your images will be flipped horizontally so that when you've pressed them onto your mugs or onto your t-shirts they are the correct way round which is important obviously if you've got text on your mugs or t-shirts so we'll tick that button as well now in presets here we can save these settings so that we don't need to select all of them individually every time we want to print for sublimation. So I will call my settings 
city and can express sublimation and click OK. You can choose any name you want, obviously. And now, when we select this from the preset drop down menu, all the options will be available for us. We can come out of that, click cancel. So, yeah, next time we come to print, we can just select after selecting the printer we can select the sublimation options and it will have chosen to print in mirror image with the correct profile and the correct print quality as well so that is how you install and use ICC printer profiles on a Ricoh printer from a Mac thank you very much